Welcome to lesson seven, exploitation techniques. In this model, we'll be talking about vulnerability assessment, which is the first stage in conducting an exploitation. We we'll see how we can crack password using an end crack utilities on uh, Kali. We also talk about how to leverage on the um, hash lib. This that is hash library function in Python. And we also be introduced to exploitation using Metasploit. So let's start with the vulnerability assessment. Vulnerability assessment phase is aimed at building a list of, of the vulnerability present on target system. The penetration test has to carry out the vulnerability assessment on each target file in the previous steps. So the next phase of exploitation will walk through this list to exploit the system because the bigger the list, the better the chance of exploiting in scope asset. So for the targets that we've enumerated, we need to conduct assessments on each of those targets. So there are two ways to carry out this assessment. The assessment can be manual and can be automated. So vulnerability assessment tools are scanned and sent probes to the target system in order to detect whether a host has some well-known vulnerabilities. Once the vulnerability scan is complete, the scanner will deliver a report that the pen tester can use in the exploitation phase. Although automated scanners are able to perform a significant number of probes, it is extremely important to properly configure them. One of the ways we do this is by leveraging the information collected in the previous steps. So if you do not configure them properly, the scanner will blindly perform all of their probes. Therefore, executing probes that do not even apply to the target or target system technologies. This would increase the chances of both crashed services and will also take more time than necessary to complete. Most of the time, this phase is completed by using both automated scanner and manual inspection. Automated tools can help carry out a penetration testing. However, they cannot perform a penetration test on their own. You need human intervention, and you also need to understand that technology. A vulnerability assessment in the same manner as a penetration test can be carried out both locally and remotely. Checking one or more system for all the known vulnerabilities will be infeasible. So penetration testers can use a vulnerability scanner to help streamline the process. Please take into consideration that this is a very large process. And therefore, if that is a necessity for a pen test, vulnerability scanners are probably not the best ideas. So this test is always very lousy. You should be careful by that. Scanner use a database of known vulnerability to detect the vulnerabilities of a system. Scanner, scanner perform their probes on daemon listing on TCP and UDP ports, configuration files of operating system, software suits, network devices, etc. Window registry entries. The purpose of this vulnerability scanner is to discover vulnerabilities and misconfiguration uh, issues on your target. There are a great deal of vulnerability scanners are there. So depend on what uh, your organization use or what you, or your, so it's very, very important that you should play your hands with different kind of these uh, scanners. So the one that come with uh, Kali, we have OpenVars. You can play with it. We have Nexpos. Nexpos has a, uh, we have the community edition. I will also have the commercial edition. We have GF Island Guard. Although they are all valid tools in the next slide, we will. so we'll be talking about uh, yes, in the next slide we'll be for the purpose of this class, we'll talk about a particular scanner that was introduced by uh by OAPS, OAPS Zap. Then you can also download lasers. Uh, you can download the free version of Nexus. You can go to Tenable Security. It's available for free. For you to download Nexus, 
what you just need to do, just uh, can go through the So you can download the free edition to try this thing out. It's very simple to use, but at times it can be a bit complex, but depending on what you are doing, but you need to get familiar with it, but it's much more easier than scripting anyway. So now let's look at, the, for the purpose of this classwork, let's see how to leverage on popular scanner and how to also discover vulnerabilities on your target. So as part of the class exercise, you can repeat this exercise with Nexus. I'm gonna do that with OAP Zap. So OAP Zap is an open source vulnerability scanner for the web application. Is one of the OWAPSTAR uh, tool. So you can get details of this on OWAPS Zap. So you can download it. It's free, completely free. So it has a lot of. Uh, so for you to download, you can download it on your target machine we have the windows 64 installer and uh, if you are using ubuntu you can also download it on ubuntu but on cardi it comes by default on your cardi so let me go back to my cardi box on the cali for you to open up the web apps you can navigate through the Vulnerability, I think it should be web application analysis. This is it, Zap. So you click on it. So if you click on it, this is what you see. So you can see that we have this. Uh, you can do an automated scan. You can do a manual, manual scan. So if you want to do a manual scan, your web browser will be launched inside this, inside the, um, inside the OAP Zap. Well, let's start with the automated one. Let's presume that I want to run an assessment on my particular target. In the last class, we did some, uh, so, some sniffing of multi dialing application. So let's go to our browser. I've opened up what you will require for this exercise. Make sure that you open up your web zap. Uh, web zap uh, machine. Sorry, open up the, the web booking w uh, booking web applications, the OAPS PWA machine and uh, you also need your Kali. So now that we've opened the, let's navigate to the, where's my browser? From my web browser, I can navigate to the URL. I think the URL is uh, 190, that's four four five. So you can, let's conduct an assessment on this multi delay application. Let's copy the, copy the URL. So go back to your OAP Zap. You just click on attack.
take a while before the assessment is concluded. So while the assessment is concluded, you can be seeing the issues. You can click on the alert tab. From the alert tab, you can see some vulnerable yes library. You can see that this guy is vulnerable to extreme option. You can see some uh, so many of these uh, vulnerabilities. So try the same thing with your Nexus. Download the Nexus. You can download the free edition on your machine, on your host machine, and conduct a vulnerability assessment on the OWAPS uh, multi-leader application. So, it take a while, depending on the... So, if you want to do something much more thorough, you can do... Uh, you need to spider all the websites, all the URL. So you can do a manual scan. A manual scan to launch your browser inside your web apps. So let's quickly take a look at this. Let's quickly take a look at this. If you want to do a manual scan, you click on manual scan. You click on launch browser. So this browser will be launched inside your. So for you to be able to, so to bring up the Zap uh, interactive uh, uh, interactive uh, windows, so you can just click on continue to target. So try as much as possible, because if you are doing a a, a scan, if it's going to be an automated scan you be able to do a whole lot as I guess an automated uh, scan. So what you can do, try and click on all the links if possible. Try and click on all the links. And uh, so that uh, gives you some level of uh, and uh, if it's always very important for you to do an automated scan too, so that you can you'll be able to, to see all the vulnerability on the because on some module of the application you need to sign in before you can uh, see the vulnerabilities further. So so that's how this guy works. So let's go back to our uh, our so you can see I'm getting to see more vulnerabilities mainly like immediately I I log on and you can also restrict your contest because it will if I want to restrict my vulnerability to, I can exclude, for this one, I can exclude this one from contest. So any URI that I don't want, you can exclude that. So that's how to conduct a simple assessment. So try the same thing with Vegas and uh, after that figure out how to save the report. So if I want to save this report, I can generate the report in uh, HTML format, in XML format, or on JSON format for later use. I can say okay best assessment. 
So it's still running though. So that's how to conduct. So these are the listing of the vulnerabilities. So try the same thing with OAPS. Another very important tool that I would also, also play with on Kali is uh, OpenVAS. Let me open it there. Uh, So the version of the calendar, I should be under this. 